bench. And of course, it's gonna be on the CT side. This is where everything went swimmingly versus Furia. He slotted right in. And oh boy, was it way too much for Furia to ever handle. We'll see if Mouse Sports can pass this test. Kerrigan able to get himself an entry onto the A site, but they then stall out within Hut. Frozen and Chris J in a two versus four as Astralis' CT side was looking to start with a pistol. What just happened? We've already got the opening push come through. Now, Astralis yesterday, we're playing with Bubski. So it's all about this, thinking about how it fits in. Astralis' CT side versus Furia yesterday started in six gear. They were keeping up with the, with the Furia at every single turn on their CT side, so it's going to be very cool to get them see to play CT side again. And they completely destroyed Furia. So what are mouse boards going to do if they attempt to slow it down? That's the question. Bubski finds a quick flank here off the ramp. Good timing. And Device potentially will find a kill as well. Now Chris waiting for him. Will make it, oh, a potential bomb plant as he gets down the vent, but Glabe will shoot him in the back. And he won't even be able to touch the bottom. Astralis win this first pistol round. And I've got no expectations, Scrawny. Unfortunately, I just, because of cause of yesterday's match with Furia, sure. because of Bubski now, because as you mentioned, some inconsistency on both sides. Like, I could actually see this being a stomp in both directions or a close game. I cannot... I, I do not want to, maybe I just don't want to get myself too psyched up for that. Yeah, because I get it. Yeah, what we see on these first two maps are unanticipated, unanticipatable results. I completely get it. Let's just let this best of five play out within a microcosm. It is its own ecosystem. Astralis versus Mouse Sports. It's been quite some time since we've seen either of these teams even in a grand finals. Mouse Sports. Astralis? Like uh... Well, it's like, what, six months now? Going pro league. How long ago was that? Felt like yesterday. It Felt was just like a couple yesterday. months ago. They did it with easy tag, though. Well, Mouse Sports. That definitely. You know, they started the year with a win. They finished last year with some wins. They started this best of three with an absolute stomp against them. Time to recover. They've got one kill and damage, of course, versus Magisk and Dupree. What's their opening? How do they wiggle their way into a force by victory? We've got Dupree in the back of the A site. He's got assistance on top of Hut, but a missed spray down bodes well for Mouse Sports until they meet Glaive. Down here on this B site, comfortably tucked in with the M4. 25 seconds for BMAS to die. I like the ideas where they fight as they come out of Squeaky. So they like force you to not just spam down the vent. They force you to fight whoever runs out the side. We have that pocket strap mouse sports use where Rops just fights into mini with a deeper smoke. B Mass, he's behind the glass. Okay, he's in the aquarium. He's a fish, he sees the outside world, but he's not supposed to be able to get out. He'll eventually escape. But then like a fish out of water, he'll be useless. Mowed down by Glaive. 2-0 start here for Astralis. And no buy-up potential for mouse sports. No plant on that round that they would have loved to grab. Let's see what the eco strat looks like. Oh yeah, October 4th, 2020. Astralis beat Navi in the ESL Pro League Finals. Don't listen to me. I'm, li I'm gonna listen to you. Gotta have to. Standing here next to you. Magisk, he's oh. gonna blow Glaive away. Sit on the sidelines. Your IGLing sucks. I'm kidding, you never say that. Just a little revenge for taking it back from him. Magis very much praising Glaive in his role. Got a little post-game interview with Astralis on their way to this Grand Finals. Where he said, of course, it's not like he wanted to take it away from him, but rather just needed to step up and provide for his team. Must be nerve-wracking, no. Knowing Bubsky always wants to put... Ooh. You Ooh. Yes! Very nice. Rob's little CZ kill adds some damage onto Bubsky. There's something particularly satisfying about the, the way that the CZ melts you down with those yeah. headshots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The click, click. <laughs> it's like really cool. I like it. Takes a long time to build, but once it's put together, ooh, baby. Let's get the instructions out for the Lego. Put Bo. that CZ together. We had Device not die forever. Let that glizzy fly. Then we had Rops not die forever on map two, and now Bubsky is the last player with zero oh. deaths. How long does he run with this torch in hand? 
It's only three rounds, don't get too excited. All right. I'll try not to. It can't happen three times in a row. But no promises. No promises. We've got mouse sports. Big gun round, all right? This is the one that kind of uh, could tell us whether or not things are going to even be competitive for once in this best of five. We played 40 rounds across two maps. 16-5, 16-3. They're still fresh. Bubski, 5-0. and oh. That's a big one. Yeah, he's not dying. True. That's an important kill too, right? Swing frag keeps brings a man advantage into either, either team's hands plus the potential for ramp control there. One of those very, very key kills in the 50-50 as the smoke comes up. As the curtain gets pulled. What is the move? Walking lower, Rops on a flank. He's not going to be too useful to their inner take anyways, but equally, it's going to be hard for him to find a lurk kill. Let's see. Look how close he is. He's leaned in all the way in. Oh my god, he's barely, he's basically getting drool on his monitor. He's so close here. Anybody shows up on his screen, they are dead. You better believe it. Dead. Well, soon enough, he's going to make a little bit of contact with Bubski. Frozen's going to run up the vent, trying to spam a man down. Ooh, raw, what? Oh, oh, what? Wait, he's coming back. Oh, what? what? Where'd he go? Uh, switch it up, targets. He's coming back up. No, no, he's not. Bubsky's running away. 2v2, Rops. They're actually, he's going to support Five seconds. the upper plant. Yes, someone's coming in. Mini, Rops will get that kill as well. Now, up the ladder. It's the Reed device. Will certainly go down. 3, 2, 1, dead. Rops with no HP finds four. He slides into the heavens, plays around with Bubsky, who just disappears into thin air. Robs then focuses forward, gets the guy off of vent. Ta Look at this target acquisition. Dude, deleted. And then, of course, has the read on Bubsky's big wraparound. And anticipates device on the climbing of the ladder. Now we've got Astralis already strapped for cash. That big 4K from Robs is enough for Mouse Sports to knock on the defense's door early. But. We've got the Danes immediately into a man advantage. Plenty of time to recover here. And Rops is going to do exactly that, catching the head of Dupree. Magis trying to find an angle through Squeaky. And, well, that's SMD G damage for sure. Rops now has to hide. But Glaive, he wants to go hunting. He meets b -mass. And this ump has done so <laughs> He's much so good for with investment. That. He is so good with that UMP somehow. Robs who's back. Oh my god, there's the re-aggression coming. Such a good oh, reposition. Some. Of all the kills, he can't get that one. Glaive with another UMP kill this time with 12 health. What? He should have died at both turns. You'd think. Both players were waiting for him. He had the worst gun, no health. Glaive. Gla Somehow, some way. Pulling it out of thin air. There's no Molotov to go kill Glaive in the back of that vent. He has upgraded to an AK as well. Chris J scoped in. Frozen finds the headshot. Minimal damage taken back the other way. And oh. Chris, he's able to catch Bubsky. Now they evacuate down through the vents. A two versus four from Chris. Oh, but device from a distance. Deagle's frozen and pushes Chris J into the clutch. Oh, a second from device. Damn. And we've got Astralis firing up. Tracked like it's DHL. Oh. Across the site. That was disgusting, man. Ooh. We got to pour a 40 out for Mouse Sports on that one. Almost pulled back the 2v4 and Device is just camping here like he's got a tent. Sitting at the ramp waiting for them to come across. The kills that were had in this round. So unfortunate here for Mouse Sports. Crazy stuff. Man, there is something in this nuclear water that somehow powers up device on these pistols. We had like a, a 40 second compilation of pistol accuracy from him versus Furia yesterday. And now he gets that nasty double deagle device transitioning his success immediately into the op, gets the five versus four versus the gun round, but Rops slipping his eyes through the hut door. And they're both teams are doing such a good job of finding rotator kills every single turn. Robs, he peeks into his parents' bedroom, and he, and he really likes what he sees. Takes down Kerrigan. 
or Dupree, excuse me. And that Molotov gonna be at the feet of the ramp push. Matt just peeks into it. He's gonna lose half of his health. Not ideal, but it's still the man advantage. And Rops goes chasing. Dude, he's been on some timings lately and he's moving really quickly, which is the other thing. So who does he catch off here? There's a chance if he spots outside Device moving out of position. Interesting how far he's moved back, trying to help them get into heavens. No one's watching it from the other side. Device is already stuck in upper, and Frozen is making his way around. Look at the chaos that's been creative here by Mouseports. This is where they absolutely flourish. But just because they get into heaven doesn't mean that they win. It's been left open, so you better believe that Astralis are either hiding from these angles or watching them. Now, that being said, this isn't the best position to watch it from. So Magus may be partially hoping he doesn't have to take this duel, and he'll go one for one, which is good enough. Frozen falls down into the site with Bomb. Rops lingers on outside. Oh. And this rotate up from Secret Stairs. If he's not fully aware, oh my God, Glaive's lurk. dead. And suddenly, we're right back into that even keel. Device scope drawn closer towards Mini. Rops took over Inferno. Device was a king on train. Now they're going tip to tip here on the side of Vent. Additional flashbang, we get that he lobby spotted. wrap around. Wait, nobody's on the bomb. Oh my god. He, nobody's he's on, on the, the bomb. Other side of it. Rob, <gasps> he has to get both. What is that? No T on the bomb. Rops, he's behind the second vent. Frozen. He foregoes bomb control to wrap around through lobby. Oh my god, to get the squeaky kill. And that was he just needed to get that kill. I mean, I can't believe he actually went for the device flank, but look at device. Holy hell. The read on the situation. Oh, that's oh, a man, that, that round could have been played differently, right? But yeah. it's still uh, like a hundred different ways. Yeah. But this, I mean, they're not going to even give it a chance to breathe. Right back into the action. Frozen. Oh, what he finds Matt. Oh, mistakes no. being made. Don't you dare. That was a bit risky. In the position that he was in, was he really going to be holding that? It is just a pistol. The money actually would have, you know, would make it worth it, but... Oh, but what could have been? Maybe. Then they're just gonna lay on real thick. Chris J, Tech 9, armored up with bomb. Jumps down into the lying weight of who? The device. Makes a bit of a meal of it, but 9 and 3. And so far, like, he's had four incredibly critical deagle kills. I guess there's a moment where he almost runs backwards into him, but like as he's coming backwards there, there's actually no reason for him to be watching above. Nowadays, it's really the uh, MAC-10 and MP-9 that get the, get the most attention, the most love. The little guys. Back into the gun rounds, though. No SMGs to be seen. Rifles across the board. One op in play belongs to the device. He's going to get a gap in the smoke and ooh, uncharacteristic. Kind of gets drawn between two targets and misses. Man. This half has had more turns than a go-kart track. It's just been so loopy back and forth. Strange affairs happening in the mid-round. So many crazy lurks that Rops has gotten off. Not necessarily resulted in round wins. Device's Deagle plays has actually saved Astralis a couple of times. And finally, what feels like a more normal, normal round. Glaive jump spotting as there's some pressure downstairs. Chance for Rops to two. Yep, sure enough. Finding a player peeking on the A site. Not the first time he's found an angle through hut onto A. Kerrigan's over into the garage. Bubsky's gonna activate. Remember, right, the talking point with Bubsky was that he was a little too aggressive. So when he does get aggression in a moment like that, we've gotta see how well he does it, how often he does it. Frozen, he's gonna burst back up onto the A site. Magic in a powerful position, cuts down the bomb carrier, goes for the multi-kill, but he's not able to find his frag. Device immediately back up into the heaven, throws the fire on the site, and it's Bubsky to die through vent. But Device, he hits that shot. If only he had killed Frozen, he would have been primed for a chance in the 1v2, but instead he has to walk away from this. Rops getting a kill on that A site. 
And then, Mouse Sports calling out Glaive inside of the vent so that they could all just burst right back up. They're getting their hooks in a little bit more, which is more promising here for Mouse Sports. It was more of a classic round by them, but Rob's catch that rotational kill upstairs, or just an anchor upstairs, and then they get lower control, which is, you know, more standard. But then they make that rotation back up the vent. They catch Glaive off. But Glaive and Magis, both their attentions are split between two players on either side, right? None of them were really ready in this position to be able to win their duels. And BMAS gets them both. So that's so nice from Mouseports on a couple of different fronts. And again, there's already a couple of rounds that Mouseports should have won. Where some ridiculous shots were hit by Astralis, whether it was Glaive's UMP or two different rounds with devices, Deagles. Neff definitely not as steep as the score would tell you. The economy tells you that tale. Oh, Rob, says he's magic for sure. Opening kill again. Slipped right out. Glaive is right there on the ladder with a grenade in hand. That's a dangerous game to play, Glaive. He actually comes up onto the floor. Oh, and Dupree's grenade is perfect. Combines with damage off of Glaive, of course. Device is going to go peeking around into Kerrigan. Man advantage here for Astralis. Frozen looking to take it back. Exchanging shots with Glaive, who immediately tucks tail back into Decon. And then after the jump spot, decides he doesn't want to stick around for this. He's going to sit inside his sight. Mouse Sports, two players pushing through Squeaky. It's Chris, ja Chris J and BMAS side by side. Dupree in the backside welcomes them in. He lines them up nearly, but it is a quick trade. And a Molotov up into the heavens. Could be a plant here. Yeah, they won't attack him just yet. Bubsky's going to go for that long flank around the secret stairs. Smoke grenade on Mini. Incendiary calls out Frozen's position. They're going to clear lobby at least, and now they can just focus back on the bomb site itself. We saw a really nice wall bang coming through from Blame F through Hut onto this exact same bomb plant. Maybe they need it, maybe they don't. BMAS and Frozen, easy headshots. And Glaive, well, he's running out of crucial time. And that peek out from Squeaky's going to seal the deal. Mouse Sports with a third. Sick communication in the 2VX. They get one back. Frozen lost a really tragic one a couple rounds ago. That was so nicely played by BMAS on all fronts. Utility usage, everything was smoked or flashed or mollied off perfectly. And they organized well, got lobby control. These guys were working together like peanut butter and jelly. Got a util fact from the last map. Mouse Sports did 1,283 util damage, 67.5 per round average to a Starless. That sounds like an Astralis stat until you say the team names. The courts taking pages out of their opponent's books. The comeback is on. I would almost go as far as to say that Mouse Sports are basically on par playing better than Astralis in this first half. But again, some absolutely ludicrous shots that have been hit resulted in the score that we see before us. But now they're starting to hit their own shots, win two VXs for themselves. Good recovery. Here's a farm round, yep. Kerrigan almost looked like he was going to get bested. But now he's going to peek into the fight. Ooh, it was not a headshot. But still, a nice adjustment. And still an excellent round for Mouse Sports. Fourth to the board. Couldn't have for those first two. Winning each other's map picks is not exactly something I expect to see here in this final. Three kills for Dupree. One kill for Magis, one kill for Bubsky. Well. Three kills for Astralis in this round, of course. That's more of a wall. I think Bubsky's been playing really well. Like, sometimes he's back in, in ramp, sometimes he's pushing up. They're not exactly testing him within the ramp almost ever, which is kind of interesting. But he's been able to push when it's been comfortable. Classic M9 bayonet, good man. Rosen slipped through. I'm just not gonna let his guard down whatsoever, but he eats a flash alongside his teammate, Frozen, unable to capitalize on that moment, and instead... Bomb delivery. Yeah. BMAS gonna try to slip into the corner as well, but Bubski comes right back he said, for him. Haha, ha, never left. Still here. Three rounds the lead for Astralis, a CT side that's starting to stabilize. They needed it. The save was just around the corner. 
The fact that they win that round with so many players still standing bodes well for them. This half still can go any direction. Don't for a moment think either of these teams could ice out the remaining four rounds. Lots of flashbangs inside of the A site. We do have players down vent. We get the, oh my god, they dropped. Yeah, there's no no damage here. Oh, the one for one trade, but the instant plant. 130. Bomb goes down lower. Kerrigan, lightning fast into device. It's not every day you see device so unprepared for a peak like that. Yeah, set scrambling Astralis. Wicked back and forth here. Last round, it was just a straight up wall from Astralis. And here, Mouse Sports completely subvert the defense. They dig a hole underneath. They come up with the uppercut. Sends Astralis' his head spinning. Of course, light touch. It's yeah. about the money. It's those, I think it's these flashes in front of Squeaky that's getting a mouse boards down. The timing on them is perfect. I wonder if you go as far as to time them off of spawn depending on who you want to drop. Sometimes the vent drop will come down to who's in front because this T-spawn is so important to try to beat out some CT grenades. More of what we want, gun rounds. Everybody's equipped here in the 13th. Yet again, pressure on the squeaky door. Chris J's gonna tuck back behind it. We get the Molotov inside of the site, on the side of the door, in front of the silos. There is fire everywhere. And there's damage only on Magisk. Frozen versus Device could unfold outside. Kerrigan, whoa, whoa. He slipped past. There's no way Device has called this. They have no clue, but oh. Bubski, he's gonna deal a bunch of damage before falling back. And Kerrigan, well, he didn't quite oh. get that kill. Bubski, he's very much aware that he has this ramp control, and if I'm a mouse sports, I just stop. Oh my god, Kerrigan does not come. Oh, he'll Perfect. go upstairs. That's two dead. That's the site. He has heaven control. He'll even look for a third. He'll get punished on the repeak. Rops and Beamass are low, and Bubsky's the one who do, who did all the damage. And now he's flanking in through lobby. He's played ramp really well, I would say. Glaives inside of hell to climb up ladder. And Bubsky, he's going to drop the shot versus Chris that could have made the difference. Instead, it is all about Kerrigan. And it looked like it looked like Bubsky was gonna shut down that B play before Kerrigan could absolutely maximize on the situation. But it because just, they had Bubsky leave, Kerrigan doubles back into the A site, and I feel like that's more of a gift than anything else. Yeah, yeah, they're just yeah, going up heaven there. They just had such a fast timing on that. Played his cards really well, Kerrigan, to pull this sixth out. Such a tight game. But Mouseports are starting to get what they want. I was I was pretty hesitant to believe that they could pull off the kind of style that they're looking for versus Astralis because Afuria had some elements of that and got absolutely plastered. So, but now we're seeing Kerrigan get in his comfort zone a little bit. Huge aggressive lurks, fast timings. Within one of tying this up and have... I just saw Optic and that's all I could think of. <laughs> just rush <laughs> and mix well. Nah. 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 Hex. Kerrigan. Come back, Hex. He has. Not the CS. One day. By Chaos. Ooh. Dupree. He's going to find Rops first and foremost. Five versus four here for Astralis. Looking to put a little bit of distance between them and this T side. But Kerrigan. Kerrigan has teleports. Nobody knows how. Oh, oh, Her oh hey my there, god, mister. he did that. That was actually pretty sick. Somehow, Kerrigan doesn't die, and he just immediately <laughs> starts running away from him like he doesn't want anything to do with that gunfight. Because it does compromise the ramp room, but Dupree, he delivers. Goes through Squeaky. Wants to take back a little map control for the zone. And Bubski is going to stick his famous barrel where the sun don't shine. Finds Kerrigan's head through him. And now it's all on Frozen. Let's see the clutch back. 45 seconds runs right into Magis, and that's Astralis with at least an eighth round on their CT side. That was hilarious. But Kerrigan, it looked like he got tasered and scurried away like a mouse. <laughs> ah! Didn't know where the shot came from. Just ran. Who's shooting? Bro, he just <laughs> ran. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get inside. Ah! <laughs> 
One round to go. Astralis, they come back a bit. Punishment time. Glaive dead outside. That tells you a whole lot. They will take this and go. That's a moment of time where they won't get spotted. Is Kerrigan coming forward through that smoke? Yeah, he is. <laughs> okay. Device just waiting for it. Decided to get crafty with that lurk. But the eye in the sky device is all too ready. Ooh. And Magus gets the better of Rops. So all that's left here for Mouse Sports in the final round of their T side is a 2v4b play. Bmast and Chris. Bmast, well, he's going to go over towards the base of the ramp room. It's him versus Bubski as the rest of Astralis' players try to come down into position. And Bmast, he just can't find that angle. The deep Molotov. Bmask gonna peek into this. Chris J, he's only able to get that one kill, and so it's another one for Astralis. A ninth round on the CT side after absolute blowouts on train. And then Inferno, the opposite direction. We have he is 15 and 7 at the top of the scoreboard. Everyone else for Astralis. 10 kills, nice and even. So clearly Mouse Sports have a little bit of catching up to do. And Chris J is gonna start that off immediately in this pistol. Finds Dupree's face. Two more T's to take. They're challenging the base of Silo in a little 2v2. Tenuous moment here. Fighting hard and actively for this pistol round. Only one for one. Oh, device, who wants to fight? Man, everybody's missing. Any nerves involved? Maybe. Little jittery boys? No matter. Mouse ports, they're keeping them alive with the man advantage. Bomb down upstairs. Awkward spot device. 1v2. What you got? Smoke. Oh, my oh God. Jesus. It did hit everyone. Okay, sniper. <laughs> Settle down. Yeah, USP over P2000. That's the right choice. <laughs> That's the right choice. Of course, Kerrigan's just going to wait for BMAS to make that contact and then wow. swing. But no need for Kerrigan when BMAS delivers the 3K in the second pistol. Say Mouse Sports chat. trailing by two. Say it, chat. It's three mass. He three goes mass. up again on the pistol again. Count him up. Oh, baby. Three. <laughs> 10, 10, 10, 12, 16. Astralis, everyone's killing people. They barely have a lead. Oh, hey there. Magisk, a little bit labored. Doesn't get what he had hoped for. A crisp deagle kill could have gotten him into secret with a chance to pick up a gun. Rops gonna see the shoulder of Dupree sprays for all three. That is the ramp room locked down. Device taps. Frozen takes the dirt nap. Swapping over to the Deagle. Ooh, imagine a collateral shot. I could. It was in the cards. But he doesn't get dealt that hand. Mouse Sports closing in on Astralis early. This was actually pretty sick. Target selection, spray transfer. He's got it all. Spray control, perfect stuff from Rops. Could have definitely died there, it's just versus pistols. Just a mechanic showcase by him. One round to go to tie this up. Closest map of the series so far by a huge margin. Either team on their opponent's map pick couldn't get more than six rounds in the first two games. Nuke, the great equalizer. The Dane equalizer. Actually so happy about it. Plus, we get Bubski just for that added flavor. Mm -hmm. And we get to see Bubski T side finally. I was sick of blowouts. Yeah. Pauly D, he's out. Nice hair, though. It's a blowout. Bubski, see if he remembers his, his grenades. It's been a while.
had to dust off that mouse just a couple days ago. Well, yesterday. <laughs> Excuse me for exaggerating. What the hell is going on? They are waiting, 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 waiting. Mouse ports are not peeking anything, but Astralis, they creep on in closer. Frozen, he has the trump card here. Depends when he peeks, they turn around. Oh. He'll get some damage no off kill. Laven. Dupree are low. Then Chris J, scout shot connects. That's gonna finish off one of the two, tagged by Frozen. Flashbang's thrown, Rops in from heaven. Device also low HP, b mass with a kill. And it's him and Rops up here on the A site as Astralis head downstairs into the doldrums, the dungeons, the depths of nuke. Rops one versus one versus Bubsky, and he's gonna find that one immediately. The question is now, where has Dupree gotten off to, and where is the second counter-terrorist coming in from? He focuses forward on Secret, and that is the right decision to make, but he gets hit in the face, and that means we've got Mouse Sports. Tying up at nine. They owned it. They played it totally cool. Astralis like, clearly expecting some aggression there, and they didn't find it. Mouse Sports, they waited in their sights. They relied on the op. All the guns here for Mouse Sports played it super cool, and it worked out well. Nicely done. Now Astralis will have to see what they do next. We got the blue light on Dupree. He's a dead body in that round, in the 1v2. Keep thinking. That's two. Oh. Well, you said loses a 1v2. Yeah, so b -Math won it. Elliot, put him out of his misery. Message me. Execute him. A little late smoke for the cross, but uh, it worked. That was Kerrigan down to one HP. What, 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 what did that? Doesn't matter if he has one health, because he's already got one kill. Focuses over there to the double door. He's trying to be bigger than he really is. On a single point of health, he is not longed for this world. Desert Eagle from Magus gonna answer here. Astralis looking to steal away a tenth before Mouse Sports can get those double digits. Bomb's gonna be planted behind the site, and Chris J. Ooh, he's not able to snap that up into position because Magisk has his hands on an AUG. Magisk is the reason. This is a three versus three. He's the reason this bomb goes down. Kerrigan was looking to deliver everything. b oh, gonna take his head clean off. And Device buys time. Rops taking down Dupree. This pushes Device back behind them. And he fires off immediately. Gets his hands back onto the rifle. Gets Whoa. himself the second kill. And all three. One v three. Talk about clutches. There couldn't be a better time. Device crosses 20 with that one. And that gives Astralis a lead. This to tack on to the 1v1 he won on train and Frozen's 1v1 on Inferno. You seem to have conviction in your eyes. Prove me wrong, Elliot. He's typing to me. He's typing, guys. We'll have the answer soon. The anticipation. All right, Astralis. That, that's a big round to win. Gonna knock Mouse Sports down a peg. Remind them who the challenger is in this situation. Frozen close to the boxes. Magus, he's just on the other side. And the shadow advantage gives Frozen the edge. He is not able to find himself the multi-kill. Scout shots from Chris J skim by these T's. And Bubsky, oh no. He's allowed Kerrigan to get back behind them. But if he called this possibility, then Glaive's on high alert. Okay. 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 Suffers a bit of whiplash, but uh, just the MP9 headshot. So he's CBA. He'll get the kill. They move outside. Advantage, but now sports scour back some map control. Bubsky on flank watch. How patient will he be? Timing, timing. Oh my goodness gracious, what is happening? Whoa. Oh, he's out of there. Yeah, he saw too much. Whew. Okay, awkward. Another very quiet round from Astralis. You can hear the whistling of the wind. It's the three CTs. Nobody has decided to run. They're just trying to figure out what site's going to be taken. It looks like lower is the plan of action and maybe a good play. B-Mass up to bat. 
He's gonna have to do everything. Jump spots it, sees it. Can he stop the bomb plant? He can sure as hell stop the first player, but Dupree trades it, and then it's the vent kill. Bubski, late lurk. And Chris J comes in, misses his scout shot. If he takes Glaive's head off, then that bomb planter had so little to work with, he could have been in the one versus one. But it's not meant to be. Astralis with a victory. Bubski, very patient play, cutting off the vent man. I think that has big impact in the post plant. And of course, Beamass, he had a chance to power up with the multi kill, but he only gets the one. We've got the Zeus on Rops. And Mouse Sports, nothing else invested here in the 21st round. Elliot says he thinks you're a right one, doesn't he? Let's go! Pupski's gonna catch Kerrigan through smoke. Astral is starting to pull away from their opponents. Good headshot, but it's not enough. Frozen device has armor. He has an AK. He has full grenades. And he's better than you. And you can't say anything about it because you're dead already. <laughs> then Astralis, mm. they're just going to cool things off. Been very slow in these mid-rounds. Very, very slow. And it's basically paid off most of the time. One, Mel Sports came through with a stronghold. But yeah, it seems just like... It feels like on their T-size, they swap over versus these teams that like to get very, very aggressive for information or feel uncomfortable without it. They just really just wait, just wait. When it comes to their CT sides versus these teams, they just turn it up. It's kind of cool. Ouch. Ow, man. Right on the noggin. Gonna be disconfigured and dead. <laughs> then we got Chris J cowering in the corner. Rob's Dis down here inside of the vents. Disconfigurated. Disconfigure Lobobinated. <laughs> Jump on him. No, it won't happen. Power invested in you. The Zeus. Not allowed to buy this thing if you don't try to use it. Zeus skins when? You can't inspect the Zeus. Operations, yeah, yeah. Maps, yeah, yeah, yeah. Source 2, yeah, yeah. But Zeus? Yes. Zeus skins, yes. Why can't I'm you? I'm just kidding. I don't even Zeus. have. Why can't you inspect the Zeus? Why dude? can't you inspect the Zeus? It gets no love. Gets no love. Ever since Zeus retired, everything started going wrong. <laughs> the bomb pops off and Rops still stands. 51 HP to his name, 12 rounds to the scoreboard of Astralis, three rounds the difference, money in the pockets of Mouse Sports. It's about time we see them back on a buy. 16-5 versus Mouse Sports on train. Sharks have been on this planet for more time than trees. Kerrigan is up at bat because this is a fast clash coming out of Astralis. They tried to kick up the tempo. They tried to crank that dial. But Mouse Sports just cranked their necks. It is only Glaive left, and he is going to find BMAS at least inside of the site. Chris J creeping through. Smoke goes down. And Glaive, well, if he had the bomb. Oh, maybe he doesn't need the oh, bomb. He looked in that direction. He knows. He knows. He's got an inkling. How's he reading this, though? Okay, maybe he doesn't know exactly. Let's see if he pulls him for. Oh my god, if he's he wins this. Here, if he wins this here. off crosshair placement. <gasps> he's going to sit here, and he is going to shut oh! that down. Glaive, baby. Ah! 13-9 for Astralis. They run into that A site like it's nobody's business. Wow. And then Glaive reminds him why he made the call. Comes up big. Big kill versus Chris. Gets his gun back up versus oh Rob. Sits on his bench. Cracks his fingers. <sighs> like an old man on his front porch. Mouse Sports left with measly pistols. Thank God November's over. Thank God. Thank Device. 22 and 12. Topping the scoreboard for Astralis yet again. And Astralis very much pulling ahead on this T side. That is four rounds in a row. But Kerrigan, do you want a tango, he asks. Let me build this gun back up. You can get some more. Also just want to say I think I learned that shark back from you. You did. 
then you had the audacity to steal it. In I my thought that made it shunt. sound better. But it did. Then I was like, okay. Just playing with you like oh Emas plays with Glaive. Big peak, Kerrigan. Oh, this could be Mouse Sports with a robbery. Shut this up. is absolutely what they need. After a last round like that. Yeah. Okay. But two on three. Device makes his way back outside, and he's starting to connect here. But oh, the yeah, the, the bomb here in front of Bmas. That's the true challenge, of course. Kerrigan's got the ace in the hole sitting in spawn. They'd have to blow this. Device does have a smoke. But who smokes spawn at 30 seconds into the round? Coming in from lobby. Right, right. The bomb's on this side. Yeah, they yeah, just got an angle. Does he grab it? Nope. The smoke's not perfect, but oh, and that'll cut down the rest of the time so on what, that smoke. It leaves them only a chance to grab that bomb and run into the A site. That's the only thing they have the time to do. If they go down vent, Chris is going to get them. Device oh. gets his hands on it. They run back into the front side of the site. They could go plant safely tucked behind Silo. And Magis, well, he's going to turn his head right back to the B-Mass. Oh, and it's Chris to come up and surprise him. Device, it's time to clutch. And he cuts down Kerrigan. Looking for his 26th frag on Nuke. He dies. Denied. Mouse Sports, double digit. Chris needed to get that. It's an eco round that almost falls apart. Low on numbers. That 1v2 stopped. Chris Dijon mustard, the wolf of Wall Street. Big round for Chris. He needs one of those. Flies up from Vent. Kills Magisk with his back turned into the AK. Best device in the one-to-one. -one. And Magisk just got to keep this one composed. They realize what's on the line with Nuke. Again, whoever picks up this map will have two chances. Two chances on Vertigo and Dust2 to close out this best of five finals. And we are right back into the gun rounds. Force by win to force by win. We are locking horns on Nuke. And we're starting to get different tempos as well. Chris J gonna find one down in secret. Doubles up on Astralis, and then gets his feet inside of the vent. Frozen, he's gonna be given a duel, and he gets the best of Bubsky. Dupree, one versus five. Cuts down Frozen, sure enough, but he's got way more work to do. And it gets denied by Kerrigan. Mouse Sports starting to close this distance. Astralis, can they keep this lead? Now they're putting on a show. Chris is talking to him. Showing up at every turn. A nice second shot on Magisk. Coming off a tilted round, you'd think that'd only make it worse. The Vice still having a lights out game. But he won't even be offered up a gun this round. Everybody, bu everybody buys full nades, mouse sports. Could win this easy one and get back into this half. Bubsky's gonna dive down that vent. Looking to weaponize why he was first criticized. Aggression. And sometimes too much of it. But you brought him into this server for map three with a reason. They chuck him down the vent early on. Get out there, kid. Now we watch Astralis play a little more meticulous. Ramp could be pushed at any moment's notice, and Astralis would have no clue. Here, they're just trying to clean, clean out the close angles, throw the late smokes, frozen. Timing spam, will it come in? They're starting to run. They're going to hear this, but there's a player in vent, so they can stop those fast rotations downstairs, and one will lag behind. Scary position here for Mouseports. Chris will try to get into control room, but he'll spot his opponent crossing as he tries to get comfortable. He'll need to come through with the off. Oh, but he can't get it, and the double Molotov is too strong. Rops on the side of the windowsill. Once Device comes up from Decon, then this is going to get even harder for Mouseports. More utility. Oh, but it's a spray through smoke from Rops. That's good. Great opening. It's a good way to equalize. Another Molotov at the feet of Kerrigan. Frozen. He's going to find the timing on secret. Bubsky, he had his back turned. 
And now all of a sudden, Astralis, they're not working with the best post plant. And Dupree's been taken down to 28. Frozen changes directions, gets the better of Device as he was occupied with BMAS, but Glade <laughs> gets executed. Astralis shut down and Mouse Sports winning a 12th round. And that was their best opportunity, getting down into secret so clean with the vent drop. No one to stop them. Chris coming in late. Molly through the window, trying to get in positions, dying, falling back on Rops, and Rops coming up huge. Sprays through the smoke, extends into the bomb site. And think about it, he lost Chris J and a second teammate on that same side of ramp room before Rops was finally able to deliver. Device 26 kills now. Drops on the opposite side of the scoreboard, 21 to his name. And a single round makes the difference with just deagles and smoke grenades. Astralis are gonna try to best Mouse Sports in a round where they absolutely do not have an edge, but they do have somewhat of an opening. They killed Frozen at the start of this one on Mini. Kind of compromises outside, but they have those eyes in the sky with the op on heaven. Chris J playing around these smokes, sees Glaive and takes his head clean off. This is going to express the push towards the ramp. Chris J right back into position, but he doesn't need to die because then he offers over an op. At least this way they know what's going on. Astralis to the basement with a bomb plant on B. They'll start to rotate in. That was left open. They seem to second guess it. Bubsky gets into the control room. It's not like there's high odds for Astralis to win, but if there was going to be some win conditions, this would be one of them. Dupree takes an off angle with his Deagle. He'll look for an open shot. No one peeks him just yet, and they start to come out. He's turned to the side, and he won't win his first. Ooh, but Bubsky does deliver. There's nobody over on the ramp room. Bomb planted to the right side of Bubsky. He swings the doors wide and then peeks up from above. Kerrigan just gonna stick this defuse, calls him out, and ties this game at 13 rounds apiece. It was just the Deagles from Astralis. They got their bomb plant. They put Mouse Sports in a pickle. But we are still nice and even. And buys come back in. Ooh, nobody knows who's gonna win this game, man. Nobody knows. They're both keeping up. They're both keeping up, putting up numbers here in the second half. It is so even outside of just the numerical round score. This will be a true test of resilience here into map number three. And Chris, yes, he's negative. He's 14 and 18, but in these last few rounds, he's been everything. Agreed. Definitely finding his value. Rocks. Yeah, shoot at me. Dude, that's another crazy down. read on the smoke kill for Rops. Down lower was one big one. That's a huge punish. It is uh, Bubsky on his own here in ramp. No one's in the lobby at all. Trio of smokes over the top. Only Glaive to linger on. Chris J is going to know all of this soon enough. What can Astralis accomplish in the meantime? Well, they go back into the lobby, and they still have tons of utility. He might get a kill here. Chris is coming out. Yeah, he's gambled right. I mean, Chris, he's stayed he's got a top. Landed. He's uh, not seeing anybody. I mean, it's still only a lurk from Glaive, so it may or may not matter. Yeah, Rops. Yeah, they're full alert here on ramp. They didn't see anybody outside. Not quite sure what's going on. Astralis just making them sweat, making them wiggle. Oh, my God. They've got an op. Oh, 30 Rops. seconds. It's Chris. There he is. Gonna start announcing his presence, and that's gonna cost him. He walks right into the scope of device. They start flashing over towards ramp, and instead they look to sink their teeth into the A site. Look at this. TTs go downstairs. VMAS only able to get one kill, and all that's left of Mouse Sports has evacuated the A site. Punished on the rotation with three seconds to spare. Oh my god, they got sucked through the map like there was a vacuum in the vent. They leave. Device creating a black hole on ramp room by getting the better of Chris. And then Magisk, well, he's going to lock this in. Frozen, trying to find his way out from Mini, has three sets of eyes primed on him. Astralis, a 14th round. An absolutely critical moment to make that judgment call. Opening kill from Device turned into a round. It's still looks Still one for Device. 
Magus starting to gain momentum alongside Device. Those are the two players of Astralis above a 20 kills. Who counters them out? Rops and Beamass. But screw a kill count, it's about the rounds. And right now, Astralis have the edge. What is going to happen here? I think it's, of course, I think it's absolutely imperative that they buy, considering they had the option to have Chris on the op. He made a good rotation last round, but a small mistake got him killed. Glaive could get caught off, but before, he might actually make it through the smoke. There's a second lurker in place. Awkward position here. And, oh, Chris will spot one. He doesn't know that Glaive's gotten farther. This is a strange situation for the CTs. Glaive is outside. Frozen. Frozen up top, trying to catch what he thinks is Magisk, probably. Still two players here, and they're making progress. Frozen. He's looking for the peak. Oof, quite a tense moment. He's on high alert. This is a good amount of map control for Astralis, considering what they've tried to get away with in the past. They've got eyes pressed everywhere, a bit farther out than they've been. Mouse sports have been good at keeping it cool in these moments versus the execs. How can Astralis get a rotation out of them is the question. Oh, he was just seen. Yeah. They exchange a little information. Glaive gonna come at this from a different angle. Busts open the window. Oh, they're trying to get him scared for upstairs. Yep. Then actually hit it as well. Kerrigan's on the side of the hut. We've also got BMAS back behind sight. Kerrigan, he's gonna get peeked to the left side. Goes down empty handed. The A site is falling. Mouse Sports compromised position. But here comes Frozen with a kill. And Chris J gets the no scope. Drops out from Mini. All that's left standing. And he's got Glaive pinned into the corner. Glaive buying time. 10 seconds left as Bomb goes down. And Glaive, he's gonna get tagged up slightly. But the flash is fantastic. And Astralis, 15 rounds. They pull it off through the Mini into the upstairs site. Kerrigan caught completely off guard, sitting in front of Hut, not expecting them to come through that way, thinking the round might be a little bit longer, could have pushed up. Clutch movements here from Astralis when they needed it the most. You can see the looks on the faces of Kerrigan and Rops, an important round on a very important map. So little left to work with, and we just had that Elliot fact about how infrequent force by round wins have unfolded on these three maps of the series. Frozen, he is going to be able to get himself in close proximity. Glaive delivers his head, but Frozen, he whips out the grenade, and Magus not going to let him get away. Chris on the scout. Ooh, Device just rocks his world, and Kerrigan, CZ versus three players, that's not going to get him anything. Two Desert Eagles left versus four members of Astralis, and Bubsky has Lobby locked down. A valiant effort here on the third map. A hell of a showing from Mouse Sports. And finally, a map that is not a total blowout. Which leaves us with the possibility of more excellent maps coming after this one. We have Vertigo and Dust2 on the docket. And we've got Astralis, who have still not finished off Nuke. But a bomb plant down on this B site. B mass. Let's see what you're made of. He's got bomb right in front of him. Player above in Magisk. B mass with an excellent showing at 22 and 17. But he's so locked into this position, you'd think it's impossible.